Hey guys, welcome back to the Duplicolor Garage. My name is Brian. I'm Sophia. And we're continuing work on the 71 Honda CB350 Cafe Racer Inspire build. A lot going on, and this particular project, we're gonna end up uh, refinishing the wheels. Uh, Sophia, you wanna grab the back one, I think? Back there. Uh, so there is a lot going on with these wheels. We still have to remove the uh, speedometer cable, the brake cable, and also some of this hardware. And the back one has the sprocket. So there's a lot going on here. And uh, so we're gonna be using a few of the Duplicolor products, the Duplicolor wheel paint. Of course, the foaming prep spray, because they're not too dirty. So, Brian, I have a question. Yeah. These are chrome, obviously. What kind of prep goes into this to making the paint stick on the wheel? Yeah, chrome is kind of tricky to paint because you can't go right over it. And even if you sand it with regular sandpaper, it's going to have a hard time to bond to it. So we're going to use some pretty aggressive emery cloth. Once we break that chrome down, we'll use the self etch primer because that is going to acid etch into the chrome and the metal. And then we'll uh, top coat it with the wheel paint. So. Obviously, there's a lot of spokes here. We'll just be sanding each one of these individually. So uh, let's grab the sandpaper and start prepping. All right. How you feeling over there? Looking pretty smoothed out now. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm good over here as well. It's all smoothed out. So uh, what we're doing is we're sanding the self-etching primer because the overall complexity of these wheels, we did get a little bit of dry spray. So just using some 800 grit paper, lightly hitting it and getting it smooth. We're gonna wipe them down. So if you wanna grab the uh, prep. Uh, which prep spray did you want? Do you want the foaming prep cleaner or just regular prep spray? Uh, grab the foaming, cause that's the waterborne. Okay. The solvent will probably remove this paint cause it's so fresh. So the waterborne is what we use. We'll get us. It'll get us a good clean surface. We'll wipe off the residue and we'll get it all ready for the Duplicolor wheel paint. All right, I went ahead and moved one of the wheels out of the way because since they're so close on this table, I don't want overspray from the one wheel getting on the other, other one if we just freshly painted it. So Sophia's cleaning up the table. I'm gonna grab the wheel paint and then we'll get this wheel painted. All right, we got all of the uh, three by five note cards that were wedged in the rim. And these wheels came out much better than expected. I mean, I think they do. Oh, I mean, what do sure. you think? There was a lot to get into between the spindles and trying to get in the nooks and crannies of this wheel. It was a lot of work, but I think they look great. Yeah, I mean, just like the engine, tons and tons of prep and very time consuming, but it pays off in the end. And the great thing about using the wheel paint, it's heat resistant, so it's gonna hold up to the heat that is generated from the brakes and also, these tires are really dirty, and that also happens when you ride the bike on the road. So when you clean them with the chemicals, it's, it'll be chemical resistance and also road abrasion. I mean, these wheels are wide open on both sides. A lot of the stones may kick up when you're riding the bike, so you're covered there as well with the uh, rocks and chips that may occur, but you're good to go there. And though we did like the big part, there are little pieces of hardware that you gotta focus on as well. So we got those done and ready to be put back on. Yeah, you can't forget about the details, right? Mm -hmm. All about the details. So for more information about Duplicolor wheel paint and other products from Duplicolor, make sure you visit duplicolor.com. Don't forget as well, we are giving away the 71 Cafe Racer, so make sure to follow along on duplicolor.com like Brian said, but also check out our socials for more information. Yep, cool.